Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations and this week we're talking sanders. Today on the Small Fry Workbench, we've got a couple of sanders that I am keen to put to the test. I've got the Bosch Get 75 150, and we're gonna put it up against your everyday orbital sander of the Makita brand. I purchased the Bosch from Total Tools at around about four months ago for $620, and this is gonna go up against the Makita, which you can pick up from Total Tools for around about $200. I really wanna test if it is good as it says it is, and is it really that much better than your $200 sander that most DIYers have in their garage? Let's talk about why I have upgraded the sander. And I feel like most people in their workshops really forget about a sander. And let's be honest, every project needs to be sanded and no one really likes doing it. So I really wanted to upgrade to a tool that I thought that was really gonna help me and make things a whole lot more efficient and quicker for me in the workshop. There are a couple of main reasons why I upgraded. One of them being the pad size. On your everyday sander or on this Makita, you're talking 125 mil pad versus 150 mil pad on the Bosch. So that just means that that you are sanding a whole lot quicker and a whole lot less. Hopefully that's the goal. The number one main reason why I upgraded to the Bosch is because of its turbo mode. So this sander runs in competition with your Festool Rotex, but it's almost double the price of this guy here. And that was just well out of my budget. So I really am keen to see how turbo mode goes up against the everyday sander, but that is the number one reason. Also dust collection is a whole lot better or should be a whole lot better on the Bosch as well. So I say, let's put it to the test. I've got this piece of pine which I'm going to evenly divide up into four and why you say four when I've got two sanders there are a couple of things I'm going to test on the Bosch I want to test both the turbo mode and just the regular orbital mode and on the Makita I want to test your everyday sandpaper that you pick up from Bunnings versus the Merca sandpaper which is what I use on the Bosch which is a really great sandpaper in my opinion on the everyday sander so could you just go with a great sandpaper on an everyday sander and get a really great result let's test it and find out if you are keen to know more about sandpapers, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to James Finger over at Fix It Fingers who does an in-depth testing on sandpapers and comes up with some really interesting results. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But I say, let's get this board divided up into four even parts and let's get to testing. It's time to get to testing. I've got my board divided up into four even parts. So I'm gonna don my new safety glasses, get all of my gear on and pump up the tunes. The first thing I'm gonna test is the Makita using an everyday flex bolt sandpaper from Bunnings. Everything I test today is gonna be in 80 grit. And let's be honest, the biggest challenge of today's video is not the sanding. It's making this visually interesting for you guys sitting at home watching this. So hopefully I can achieve that. Let's get to work. All right, first test down. So that is the Makita 125 mil disc with an 80 grit flex bolt from Bunnings pad on here. And that took five minutes and 37 seconds. Next up on the testing bench is still the Makita, but I'm gonna switch it to the Merca brand sandpaper, which is the best sandpaper in my opinion. And let's see if we can get this strip done any quicker. Let's keep moving. So that has taken five minutes and four seconds. So pretty much 30 seconds quicker than when we were using the Flex Vault from Bunning. So across a larger span, you could really tell that the Merca is better. So if you are running with the everyday sander, before we've even gotten to the Bosch, running with the sandpaper like Merca, you're already ahead of the game. Now we're gonna switch out this Makita for the Bosch and get to the fun stuff, because this is the stuff I'm really keen to see. Did I waste my money or was it worth it? First thing I'm gonna test is just the regular orbital mode and then I'll switch it over to turbo when we get to the end, but let's get the orbital mode done first. So I'm gonna put on a fresh 80 grit 
pad and on the side here there is a switch where you flip between turbo and orbital. So we're going to start with orbital and then we'll switch to the turbo. Oh, I did not have my safety glasses on. Apologies, I will put them on next time. Wow, what a difference the Bosch sander has made. It has sanded that section of material in three minutes and 10 seconds. And I thought or hoped it would be quicker, but I didn't and really anticipate it to be that much quicker. It is a full two minutes faster than the Merca brand on your everyday sandpaper and quite a bit more faster than your everyday sander using the FlexFault sandpaper. So already really happy from there. There's a couple of other things that I've picked up on. I haven't used that Makita sander for the last four months because I've been testing and using this guy. But what you can tell is the vibration differences through the hands. With the Makita, you do get quite a bit of vibration compared to the Bosch. You could comfortably sand with this guy all day. The other thing is, I know a lot of people when they are sanding, they have a tendency to try and tilt the sander to try and get a quicker finish. And the reality is that's not what, how you're supposed to sand. And this Bosch does a really good job of helping you keep it level over the Makita. So also really good from that perspective. It is now time to flick this guy into turbo mode and see just how quick he can remove all of this material from the bench. So let's get this finish sanded off and see really how much quicker is turbo mode than regular orbital mode. And just like that, testing is complete. And wow, what a great job the Bosch has done. It removed the finish from this piece of board in two minutes flat, which is way quicker than anything before it. There are some downsides. When you're using it in turbo mode, you do have to hold the sander with two hands. You cannot get away with it just using the one hand. And if you have got a portable piece of timber like I have here, it has to be clamped to a bench. Otherwise it will have a tendency to shift. So in comparison to an everyday sander, am I glad I upgraded? Absolutely. To me, it is totally worth spending the $600 on a sander that I use in every single project that I build in this workshop. If the $600 is out of your budget and you've only got an everyday sander, then I strongly recommend that you upgrade your sandpaper to something like the Merca brand. On paper, it looks like it is more expensive, but if you check out James's video, you will see that in the time that you use it, it is actually cheaper to go down that route and you can buy them in bulk online. I would strongly recommend you do that, but I am really, really glad with my Bosch purchase and so glad that I upgraded. If you've got any questions about what we went through today, hit me up in the comments below. I hope you have liked this video and if you have, help me out by hitting the subscribe and like buttons and I'll see you on the next one.